Matte comes with several super easy to use functions which allow users to connect and communicate between devices using TCP sockets and COM ports. Alongside these functions, Matte now also has GUI templates for TCP sockets, COM ports and FTDI chips. This allows users to implement and integrate them into their applications just by dragging and dropping their GUI template in the GUI designer. To utilize and access these GUI templates, you'll first need to open the respective script. For example, if you wish to utilize these GUI templates alongside MatDeck C++ simplified script, you need to first open a MatDeck script. This is done by clicking the small arrow next to a new icon and then clicking new MatDeck script. And to access it in another library, for example, the Tinker library, all we need to do is open the new Tinker script. This is just like the MatDeck script. You click on the small arrow and from there you hover over new Python script and select Tinker script. Now to access these GUI templates, all we need to do is select the script we would like to access them in and open the GUI designer. This is done by heading over to the programming tab and clicking the GUI designer icon. From there, all we need to do is click new. Now to access the TCP and COM port GUI templates, all you need to do is click on the IO widgets tab. From there, we can choose a GUI template and insert it into our GUI. This is the COM port GUI template, but we can also add the TCP GUI template as well as the FTDI GUI template. Now that we have added our GUI templates, all you need to do is click done and all the code will be generated. Now to see our code, all you need to do is click evaluate. Now with our COM GUI template, we can connect to any available COM ports. With the COM combo box, it shows all available and active COM ports. Now all we need to do is choose one, select the correct parameters and click to connect. The same goes for the TCP GUI template as well as the FTDI GUI template. Here with these three dots, we can click it to refresh and see any other devices which have been connected. For all these GUI templates, once you connect to them, the form will become greyed out and disabled, apart from the disconnect button. If we would like to do further things with our TCP, COM port or FTDI connection, all we need to do is call the widget value to get their handle. As you can see, here we have gotten the COM port handle, the TCP handle and the FTDI handle. From here we can utilize other functions such as COM write or com read. All we need to do here is enter the handle which is com and then the timeout which by default is 100. The same can be done with the TCP handle as we can see. We can also do this with specialized FTDI functions as well. These GUI templates can also be used in the Python Tinker library as well as other Python libraries. To do this, we must do the same steps as before. Open the respective script and then open the GUI designer. Then once we click new, our GUI designer will open up. Again, under the IO widgets tab, we can insert the COM port GUI template as well as the TCP GUI template. For now, in the Tinker, Kiwi and PySide 2 library, the FTDI widget is disabled. However, if you would like to utilize the FTDI GUI template, Within Python, you can utilize the new MD Python library. It works just like any other library, so you'll first need to open its respective script, which is found when clicking the small triangle, hovering over Python script, and then selecting MD Python script. From there, you can access the GUI designer. As before, the window will pop out, and then you can click New. The MD Python GUI designer brings all of MatDeck's functions, features, and GUIs into Python. As you can see, we also have instruments, if you click the instruments tab, as well as all the IO widgets, which you can add. You can also connect the instruments to the IO widgets and the data they read or write. Just like before, when you click done, the MD Python code will automatically be generated. The entirety of the MD Python library can be found in the functions tab. To access the documentation and help of the functions, all you need to do is first click the group of which your functions are in. For example, if we are looking for the FTDI functions, we'll need to scroll down and find the FTDI group. Once we click that, we can see all the functions 
and their uses when you choose a function. For example, FTDI close. However, you can also click the functions help button, which will open a new window. This new window contains the entirety of the MD Python library, as well as the library of the MatDeck simplified C++ style script. From here, the examples, help, as well as documentation is much more accessible. And you can even search for functions, for example, com, and then now when we click search, it will contain all the functions with the word com. And here we can see the com close, com open, com read and com write functions. And then when we choose which function we would like to see, for example, com read, we can see all the arguments that are needed to fulfill the function, as well as what the function itself will return. In this example, it is a vector. As mentioned previously, the MatDeck functions help window, as well as the tab, is for the MD Python library, as well as MatDeck's own script. The MD Python instruments and widgets cannot be used alongside other GUI libraries such as Tinker, Kivi, and PySci2. However, the MD Python library and its functions can be used alongside any other GUIs. This means that you can take functions such as the TCP ones, as well as the Compo and FTDI ones, and use them in other GUI libraries, ones that you perhaps prefer. The same goes for things such as channels. You can take them from the MatDeck functions and import them to use alongside other GUI widgets from different libraries.